channel. So today's video is going to be this pink calf cut crease with the gold glitter running through. I just love this makeup look and decided because it's now spring summer I thought to really add a proper pink. I don't ever do pink makeup looks so I've decided to create this pink makeup look with the half cut crease and obviously of course I had to add glitter and if you would like to see how to create this gorgeous glittery pink look carry on watching. So the palette I will be using today is pretty much one of my favourite palettes and it's the Modern Renaissance palette. I bet you guessed that, didn't you? Because what other palette would I use for this? It is literally like the perfect red pink palette to use. And I don't know, just fancied doing something different and using a bit of pink and gold. And yeah, Modern Renaissance is perfect for that. And as you can tell already, I have not got mascara on or fake eyelashes on. I have eyelash extensions. I, I got eyelash extensions last Saturday and I am loving eyelash extensions like look at that look eyelash extensions are my life now I can't get enough of them I'm definitely gonna get them again and by the way my auntie is the one who did them she's amazing at them and yeah she is my eyelash queen who does my eyelashes basically so I'm digging eyelash extensions right now so the first sheet I will be using today is going to be this shade here called Buon Fresco and I'll be mixing it in with a bit of burnt orange and golden ochre. Bad trooper, lights are gonna find you Cause somewhere in the crowd there's you Just blending Buon Fresco in the crease So now I've blended that as my transition I'm going to pop in a little bit of golden ochre and burnt orange and these are again just blend this in the crease i'm adding more of the orange warm orange shade as i feel like burnt orange just doesn't make it look as pink and it's just nice to add a bit of the orange tone in there and by itself it's so pretty as well so now i have blended that into my crease i'm now going to taking the big the big badass one which is this one which is called love letter and this is the bright pink so i'm going to take in this one and this is a matte shade so this is amazing for the crease and i'm going to go back in the crease again and i'm also going to go on the outer corners now but when i'm doing it i'm going to try and wing it out just to give it more of an elongated and elegant effect and as I keep blending, I'm going to add more of Love Letter. I'm also going to be adding a bit of Venetian Red, as that is a very similar colour. It's just got a slight bit more shimmer in it. And that, again, is going to, going to go through my crease and outer corner. So I'm just blending this colour out. I'm also going to be taking this shade here, which is called Red Ochre. And this is really going to deepen up the outer V and the crease and just make it slightly more red than bright pink. I love this colour so much. And I'm just packing this on the outer V and then again blending that through the crease. Now I've done my outer corner and my crease, I'm now going to cut half of my crease out with this concealer, which is the Collection Last Infection Concealer, which is so highly pigmented. So I'm taking this concealer with a little detail brush from Real Techniques. Taking this concealer and dragging it in the inner corner, using the edge as a guideline, and then carving out my crease. So as you can see, I have cut my crease out with the concealer. Now it's time to set the eye just to make sure it's going to last all day and also it prevents creasing and printing onto my crease as I have hooded eyelids so if I did not set this the concealer would imprint at the top of my crease and that just wouldn't look as good as it would. Hashtag hooded eye problems. Now I'm just taking a little angled brush and as you can see it's quite a harsh line where the concealer is and then the blend of colour so I just want this to look all blended and almost like an ombre effect. 
it is shamazing. I just love glitter. Glitter in the crease, yes. Okay, so now for the glitter part of the crease, which is like the most exciting part ever, because who doesn't love a bit of glitter in the crease? I definitely do. This is the perfect look for this. So I'm going to be using my Trustworthy Collection Glam Crystals Eyeliner to cut out my glitter crease. And I'm also going to use a little bit of the Tony Burr glitter. So I'm going to look down and it's up to you how thick you want the glitter line to be. It's totally your preference. I have done like a medium, not too thin, not too thick line. And I've gone from the inner corner and then I make sure it slightly fades out towards the center of my eye. Look how pretty! Oh my god, I love it! <laughs> to tie in with the gold theme through the crease, I am now going to add a gold shimmer on the inner corner. So I'm going to take in this shade here called Primavera. And this shade is going to go on the inner portion of my eyelid, where the lighter shade is. I feel like this makeup reminds me like flamingo makeup, is that weird? But just look how beautiful that is. I love it. I feel this is like princess makeup. It is so pretty. Definitely like a summer glam. You could wear this to a festival. I'm just loving festival makeup. So I'm just going to be taking some concealer, which is the collection one again. And I'm going to be taking an angled brush. And I'm just going to take some of this concealer. I'm going to really dab this off though. And I'm going to just angle out my eye. Oh, I've got conceal on the top, damn it. So for my lash line, I didn't want to go all out with pink and red as I found it would look too much. I kind of want to leave the bottom lash line very minimal and very subtle as I like how my eye looks already and I think the main focus of this eye look is my eyeshadow and crease, not the bottom lash line. So I decided to add a little something to the lash line and Primavera just along the bottom lash line. So to finish this eye look, I'm going to be using the Kiko False Lashes Concentrate Volume and Definition Mascara. And this again is going to go on my top of my eyelash extensions just because I feel like they get lost sometimes when they've had eyeshadow on and it just makes them even more dramatic and this mascara is great because it's got really really sharp um, bristles on it so it doesn't clog them up it gives them a nice separated look and I'm just going to put this on the bottom lash line as well and this is the finished eye look I absolutely love it I love the gold on the lash line as it's so subtle but really pops and brings out the gold in the crease and the inner corner and makes the pink really stand out. Oh, pardon you, Pops. You just did a burp. <laughs> Excuse me? Did you just burp? My dog is as elegant as I am. So for contour and highlight, I am going to be using... Oh, it's sticky. Why have I just licked that? I have issues. So for my contour today, I'm going to be using this, which is my Anastasia Contour Kit. You know by now, this is literally like my go-to, especially this month. I've been loving it, absolutely loving it. So I'm going to be using the shade in the middle, which is here. And I'm going to be using this shade and dip it in, dip it? Oh, I'm thinking of dip dabs, dip dab. And I'm dabbing it into the palette and I'm gonna contour, wish. I'm just gonna warm up my face. I just love this palette as it gives me such a natural bronze to my face. As a pale gal, everything looks way too dark. It's a hard not life. For highlight, I'm going to use a mixture of the Anastasia and the Urban Casein highlighter. Look, what are you doing? Okay then. Yep, that is my dog at the window. Just glowing the haters. Pops, please, I really don't appreciate the blinds being like that. And for extra glow, 
And for extra glow, because I am that bit extra, I am going in with my all-time favourite highlighter, Dribble Teen. She got Dribble Teen. And this is the highlighter that is like my life. My Urban Decay Sin highlighter. You probably all know that by now. And nothing is as good as this highlighter. Oh. Urban Decay, you slay it with the highlighters. And now for lips, I'm going to be using my MAC, um, my MAC Urban Decay. What? And for my lipstick, I'm going to be using MAC Velvet Teddy, as this is a quite pinky brownie tone nude, and it ties in with the eyes. So that is the finished makeup look. this video I definitely did I had so much fun creating this pink makeup look for you and if you did like this video please give it a thumbs up and subscribe if you haven't already the button should be round here somewhere below me and definitely click the bell button because this bell button will notify you every time I upload and it will just keep you updated with when I upload so definitely please subscribe if you haven't already and I will see you in my next video bye Look how cute my mirror is, just appreciate this mirror. It has a French bulldog on it. Look at him. Look. Primark mirrors are literally the best. I can see myself in all its glory. Shimmy ya, yeah, shimmy 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 ya. Yeah. Why don't the neighbours shut the dogs up? Seriously. Puppy's a princess and she doesn't bark, do you?